Lion has been the symbol of power and strength since time immemorial. At the turn of the century, lion hunting was the main form of distraction for foreign dignitaries in India, especially those from Great Britain. The Asiatic lion would most likely have been hunted to extinction were it not for the intervention of the enlightened Nabob of Junagadh. His domain covered a large part of the Gir forest where only 20 or so lions remained. Aware of their probable extinction, the Nabob decided to put a ban on hunting and to involve the local population in the lion's protection. Broken Nose is a dominant male whose 10 square kilometer territory surrounds the Raidi waterhole. Lions must live close to water as they need to drink at least twice a day. One of the females in the pride, the lioness Asha, gave birth to three cubs two months ago. The cub's nervousness suggests that this is one of their first visits to the waterhole. The lionesses are entirely responsible for the organization of the pride. Two or three often give birth at the same time, which is to the advantage of the pride as a whole. If one of the lionesses were to die, the others would be able to feed and take care of the orphaned cubs. Asha has one female cub and two males, one of whom is decidedly more adventurous than the others. Of all the species of cat in the world, the lion is the most sociable, which is the probable reason for their success at survival. For a long time, Gear was the perfect example of a successful conservation project. But today, the reserve has become too small to cope with the increasing lion population. The Madaris are concerned about safety, and conflicts with the authorities have intensified. Another tribe that feels under threat are the Sidis. Of African origin, it is thought that their ancestors were slaves brought from Somalia and Ethiopia by the Maharajas in the 1800s. Still today, they speak in a dialect very similar to that of the African tribes who have to cope with lion problems of their own. Although lions can mate throughout the year, winter is the main period of reproduction. 
Lions only roar once they're full grown, and the lion's roar can be heard several kilometers around. A young adult male has picked up the scent of a lioness in heat. While signaling his presence with a roar, he nonetheless keeps his distance as he is on Broken Nose's territory. It is usually the lioness that takes the initiative in foreplay. She solicits the male by showing her hindquarters and by urinating on trees. After this ritual, Broken Nose displays his teeth in a grimace called flamen. By revealing his gums, he is helping the chemical signals emitted by the lioness to reach his olfactory system. This will enable him to know exactly when she's ready to mate. place around 10 times a day over several days. Although the Asiatic lion is no longer the victim of hunting, it is a victim of modernization. Humans have left their mark on the gear forest, and the railways and roads are upsetting the ecological balance. The train companies have been told to slow down their trains while crossing through the gear forest. However, each year, at least one lion and several deer and antelope are killed on the tracks. Presently, there are seven tracks linking the Nesses and the villages. The encroachment of man is reducing the lion's territory dramatically. Recent statistics show that the population density of the lions has reached its limit. One lion per seven square kilometers. for protection of wildlife and endangered species. Born in Kenya, he knows wild animals well and is taking part in the new Indian government project to protect the Asiatic lions. There is a double objective. One is to reduce the amount of pressure from man in the gear reserve by moving the Madaris. The other, to introduce a certain number of lions into a new reserve to the northwest of gear. The government has just reached an agreement with the Madaris. The chief of the tribe, Ishmael Babu, has led by example. In exchange for arable land, he has agreed to leave the reserve and move several kilometers away. 
अपने रहने का मकान है वो अपना धर्म है यहाँ कुछ नहीं करते हैं बाहर जाके बढ़िया बढ़िया बातें छोड़ते हैं तो उसमें कोई वो धर्म की बात बड़ी नहीं है हाँ अभी पांच दिन पहले हमारे एक बेस मार डाली है इधर हाँ यहाँ सामने हाँ यही है एक्सेप्ट दैट द रिजर्व इज द डोमेन ऑफ द लायंस ही हैज रीसेटल्ड सक्सेसफुली ही नाउ हैज हिज ओन फार्म एंड हिज चिल्ड्रन कैन अटेंड स्कूल this is the beginning of a new era for gear and its inhabitants narje ye to khada baju ni baat hamri The size of a pride's territory depends on the amount of available prey. Here in Gear, langurs, axis deer, and nilgai antelope are sufficient in number to ensure the lion's survival. For the past three years, Mike has been coming to Gear every six months to collect information from Murad and to study the behavior of the lions during the different seasons. reputation for laziness is only in part true. In fact, the male is often patrolling his territory. He marks certain bushes by leaving scents secreted from the glands in his muzzle and by urinating. He forms a scent boundary, marking his territory that other males will avoid crossing. Some young males live in pairs. These are usually brothers coming from the same litter of cubs that have developed an unbreakable bond. However, they will soon need to fight to decide who will become the sole king of the pride. They fight often, which explains why many males are covered in scars. In the jungle, many lions die as a result of their wounds. and it is very rare that a male lives for more than 12 years. <laughs> 